The cost of living is pushing many families to breaking point, especially with winter coming and energy bills rising. Well, today, more grim forecasts, with researchers warning of an impending humanitarian crisis, thousands of lives at risk and millions being plunged into poverty. One lifeline for many, though, is food banks. Demand for them has never been so high, but now they're even struggling with rising costs. Bradley Harris has been speaking to one food bank manager who fears his could close before Christmas. Stocking the shelves, but for how long? Unless the next Prime Minister cuts down soaring energy costs, leading experts from University College London have warned the UK will face a significant humanitarian crisis. Each of these fridges are expected to cost us from £68 a month, which cost the whole building of back in January, to now being £1,000 each fridge per month. Ray runs a food bank and is concerned about the winter. He's worried rising fuel costs will mean having to close before Christmas. We're not asking for a favour. We're not asking for a lot of money. We just need protection so that we can do our work to save and support our community. Huge numbers of households are already turning their heating down or switching it off completely. With colder months ahead, there is a worry that thousands of lives could be lost. We've got to take the urgent action to stop people starving and shivering. We need to ask how we got here and how do we prevent getting here again in the future and invest in reversing the three components of fuel poverty, which are poverty, the price of fuel, and the energy efficiency of our dwellings. Paul works at a community hub which offers advice and support to people with spiralling costs. It's going to hit a lot more people than just the lower income. People are at work, maybe families with two jobs, are now coming to us and saying, what do we do? We, we didn't ever think we would need help but we need some help off somebody. The West Midlands had the highest rate of fuel poverty in 2020. Two years on, people are still struggling. And I'm coming 66 now. I've never seen an increase like that on gas and energy in my life. Do you feed yourself or you got to keep you warm in the winter? I don't know. Gary has been using the community hub to find ways of saving money. Simple things like turning off things now, microwave, but you're not using, you know, you're on your own. Turn it off at the switch so that clock's still making money. And the washing machine, if it's not in use, turn it off at the switch. And all these things add up to a lot of money. The government have said they're delivering a multi-billion pound package of support to help people pay their bills and say they are working closely with the NHS to ensure they are ready for extra pressures this winter. Right now, all people want for Christmas this year are cheaper bills. Bradley Harris, 5 News.